Hi, Don Catalano here from iOptimize Realty with your quick iOptimize Realty Minute. Today we are going to do a quick mid-year review. Let's first talk about the thousand pound gorilla in the room, office space. Well, as I speak, we've broken our national average for office vacancy, and that is not good even if you're a tenant. Currently, nationally, and this, this is all markets, 21%. It's never been that high. And to put that in perspective, for most buildings, once you drop below about 15%, then the building is no longer profitable for most office buildings. So nationally, we're at 21%. Of course, in certain more markets like Chicago, New York, San Francisco, Portland, it's much, much higher. San Francisco went from 3% vacancy just a few years ago to over 30% vacancy. And there is an occupancy rate, which is really dormant vacancy rate of about 50% in most of these urban areas. And that workforce is not going to come back. So the office market is beyond, it's, it's in a depression for landlords. And it's troubling times for tenants too, because you could get between the crossfire of banks and their landlords. Matter of fact, we wrote a book about it called Surviving the Office Apocalypse. Click on the link or let us know if you'd like a free copy of that. But it's a very important book because it tells you, the corporate tenant, what you need to know to protect your company. Let's talk about warehouse space. Well, warehouse space has somewhat plateaued for the moment. The prices are going up, but not as high as they have been going up over the last few years. That was really driven by COVID. No one wanted to go out to the stores. So big ramp up in warehouse space. You know, there's the, what I call the Amazon effect. You're either Amazon as a retailer or you're trying to compete with Amazon, so, such as a Walmart or a CVS. And you, you're striving for that next day delivery, which of course demands a lot of warehouse distribution space. But that market now has leveled off. And one of the key factors there is a lot of landlords have slowed up their building. We don't see it being a very high vacancy rate going forward. Matter of fact, it is still historically very low. It's in the single digits. And the reason we don't see it the vacancy rate going up, even if the economy slows down, is because the cost of funds is so high that landlords don't want to build speculative right now. So there's been a big slowdown in that. And when they're not building speculative and demand keeps on going, albeit it may even slow down, but it still keeps on increasing, well, that's going to absorb any vacant space. And as you know, it takes years sometimes a lot of years, depending on the municipality, to get approvals, to put shovels in the ground, and to build good warehouse distribution. Now let's talk about another phenomenon that is happening right now, and that is AI. Now what's the effect of AI on corporate real estate? It's going to be huge. Data centers require so much power. Data centers are big. And the need for them, because of the potential for profit, is so high on what they can do. We've all played with ChatGPT and we've seen what it can do. By the way, I'm not a bot, I'm a real person, just kidding. But we've all seen what they can do. We haven't seen what they will do in the future, but what they will do in the future is multiples faster than what they're doing now. NVIDIA's chips, as I speak, they have the 100 chip, but they're coming out with the Blackwell by the end of the year. That's gonna be multiples faster, but what is that going to do to commercial real estate? Stay tuned because it draws three to four times the amount of power. It's so fast that it requires so much cooling. Hmm, what's going to happen when there's just not enough power in the, in the grid to support them and to support your warehouse distribution? And oh, did I mention EVs, EV trucks? I drive an EV, I love it, a Tesla, love it, but there's going to be a requirement for more and more and more power. So anticipate that. Don't think where the hockey puck is. Think where the hockey skate to where the hockey puck is going to be. So the requirement for power is going to be a dominant driver in where you locate your warehouse space. Let's talk about multifamily. Though we don't do any of that, I'm still observing. There was too little supply. Well, that supply is catching up and now there's perhaps too much supply. So the good thing for Americans, for apartment renters, is the rents were going up so fast. Well, now they're gonna probably level off and maybe come down. From a real estate perspective and a financial pers perspective for the banks, multifamily is leveling off and there's gonna be some that lose money on that. 
but it's not going to be catastrophic the way it is in the office space. Retail, that really depends how the economy goes. Yet to be seen. Some markets, it's softening. And some markets, it's improving. So stay tuned. I think a lot's going to happen with a new presidential election that's coming up in the next few months. I think there's going to be some tectonic plate shifts. So perhaps a little bit longer than a minute, but hopefully very fast and informative for you, the C-suite executive or director of real estate. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.